I have few words for Mr. Brooks. Just saying that name brings anger and hatred into my heart. And I want to move forward after this sentencing with the happy memories I hold of my mother. I sat silently almost every day in this courtroom, bit my tongue, restrained myself from jumping over this divide to administer my thoughts of justice. As Mr. Brooks droned on about where the plaintiff was in this case, who the plaintiff was in this case. You've already heard, there are many plaintiffs here. I'm here right now. I've been here all along. And now he gets to hear from me and from many other plaintiffs before this day is over. He is simply a repulsive man who has shown zero remorse for his actions and depraved indifference to life. His fake tears in court were never for those harmed, but only for himself and the freedom he has lost. His narcissistic behavior, disgusting trial antics, and defiance to accept any accountability displays how truly unworthy he is of anyone's forgiveness. While we lost my mom instantly, I hope his 76 sentences pass in a slow, miserable, depressing existence as a reminder of the many lives he shattered. There are two others I hold culpable in my mother's murder. Dawn Woods, the mother who knew her son's felonious criminal history and penchant for violence, yet bailed him out of jail for $1,000 after he insulted Eric Patterson by running her over with Miss Woods Ford Escape. She continued to allow him to drive it and enabled his violence and murders that Sunday afternoon. The other is John Chisholm, the Milwaukee County District Attorney, whose misguided and ill-conceived bail reform policies led a violent, multi-convicted felon back into our community and onto our streets while already out on bail from a previous violent felony. Mr. Chisholm disregarded his duty to keep the people of this community and state safe from repeat criminal offenders and allowed a career criminal to snuff out six innocent lives. He is a coward who hides from the accountability for his office's negligence. If he had a tiny, single sliver of integrity, he would resign. Not once has Mr. Chisholm said three simple words to these victims and families. I am sorry. At least Miss Woods in her many media interviews has a humanity and understanding to say those words to the families affected. Six families have been bound together forever in grief. Six families have lost loved ones who are cherished and can never be replaced, but forever remembered with love. Six names I will